We're at the Jewish Cemetery on Rottweilstrasse. The cemetery was begun in 1828. It has about 40,000 gravestones in it. They used this until about 1929. One thing you will not see here at the cemetery are flowers. There are a lot of birds here though. Cemetery is open pretty much every day except for Saturday and High Holy Days. Over here on the right, we have some of the Rothschild graves. Rothschild, Rothschild. These are not Maya Rothschild nor his children. These are his grandchildren. His sons are buried in another section here. You can see how opulent these are. Quite pretty. The flowers. A lot of the stones are in danger of falling over simply because there are rabbits that live here and they're old. You know, some of these are going on 100 years old, 200 years old, I guess. Yeah, 1829 to 2021 now. Burials here at the cemetery and Jewish cemetery are usually within 24 hours. You can see it was getting common to use German and regular lettering on the graves instead of just Hebrew. Because in the 18, 1900s, this became more of a trend. You can see here, this gentleman was in the Masons. Over here, we do see this quite often at the cemetery. At one time, there were metal pieces here, brass fittings, and these were taken away uh, during World War II. So a lot of the gravestones are missing those pieces. So a little bit more here. But at the sense of this place. The violets are coming up here. There's just a lot of birds that like to hang out at the cemetery. This is a pretty quiet cemetery. There aren't usually very many people here. The springtime when they had the first lockdown, there were a lot of people here. I would come out here and there'd be 20 people here. I, was, I never saw so many people at the cemetery before. Well, that one's in danger of falling over, so they've got it taped up to warn you to stay away from it. There's some beautiful symbolism where they've used the broken rose. These are pretty too. The moth is a fairly common theme in Jewish and in Christian cemeteries. Moths. Moths fly to the light.
Well, this is pretty opulent here. The Königsvater, this is a really famous Jewish family here in Frankfurt. Well, let's go back in here. Let's go see the other Rothschild graves. And there they are. Quite decorative. Make it look like they've got big blankets on them. And if you can see the crest here for the Rothschilds. Unicorn and the lion. Now the wall that's in front of us is the wall that separates the main cemetery from the Jewish cemetery. And on the other side of the big main cemetery, we've got the new Jewish cemetery. This section here looks a little bit different. This is where children and young people be buried. So the gravestones aren't as big, they're not as opulent. Um, even like the little pillar. So I find it to all be quite sad. He's a child. Junior, back in the 1800s, children died pretty early. People were lucky if they had one of their, or two of their, you know, many, many children grow to adulthood. A lot of them are in danger of falling over. This is interesting. This family might have come from the, from the Swan family. And you can once again into the Batonstrasse Cemetery. You'll see those designs on lots of gravestones. Swans and geese and birds and houses and boats and fish. If you'd like to have a more detailed tour of the cemetery, we do offer virtual tours. There's 75 euros for a 90 minute tour. And we will have our Patreon page set up soon. And we will have special tours just for the, our Patreon guests. So make sure you sign up for the Patreon. This is a beautiful stone here.
And this is the oldest section here. So very simple gravestones. So thank you for joining me today and we'll see you again soon.